Well, if you've been out of the country and haven't seen the athletics play in oh seven or eight years, you might be thinking, what's this, the old timers game? Dave Leeper came up with the athletics in 1984, hadn't pitched for him since 1987, hadn't pitched for anybody in the big league since 1989, and yet here he is, brought up from uh, Tacoma. He was doing real well down there. Leeper will turn 32 in two weeks and uh, may have thought that uh, he'd never see the Oakland Coliseum again. He's been pitching in places like Las Vegas, Tacoma, Modesto, Edmonton, Bradenton, Carolina. The last few years, one year he didn't pitch at all, 1992. Carlos Baerga. Cleveland with a chance to really bust this game wide open. They're already ahead five to nothing. The bases are loaded with nobody out. The infield has come in halfway. Fastball misses the base runners. Alomar, who led off the inning with a single to left. Kenny Lofton, who also singled, is in second base. And Espinosa with that uh, back-breaking bunt that sent Darling to the showers. He's at first. Dave Leeper used to pitch for the Athletics when they had a second baseman by the name of Joe Morgan. You're right. <laughs> Has he changed much, Joe? <laughs> no, he seems to have the same overhand, well, three-quarter fastball. Change up, curve. Let's see, when he came up in 84, when you were the Oakland second baseman, he got into eight games at the big league level. He had a 9.0 earned run average. Seven innings, 12 hits given up. Walk five guys. You must not have been happy when he came in the game. Surprise I made, John. I'm, I can't remember the home runs he gave up. <laughs> I'm trying, but I can't remember. <laughs> one and one the count. And two and one. Well, you must not have turned many double plays behind him, Joe, if he had a 9.0 <laughs> ERA. That's Sounds right. Like blame it on me, John. Must have had a lot of bad defense. That's right. Blame it on me. Carlos Baerga. The last two years, he's been extraordinary. 200 hits plus. A 300 average, more than 20 homers, and more than 100 RBIs. Fouls this one back. Change up. Two and two the count. You have to go back into the 1920s and a Hall of Famer by the name of Rogers Hornsby to find another second baseman with that particular combination. 200 hits, 20 homers, 100 RBIs, and a 300 batting average. And last year, he also scored 100 runs. It's amazing he scored 105 to be exact. You mentioned also he doesn't walk, so it gives him an opportunity to get base hits, but he also produces runs with the 20 home runs. Two and two the count. He struck him out. Well, he chased, it, chased a bad pitch, and that's one of the reasons that he doesn't walk a lot because this pitch is way out of the strike zone, but he goes up to hit. Now, you can see this fastball is tailing away, and it's way off that plate outside. Now watch how far out Steinbach reaches. 79 mile an hour fastball. Well, and that was a fastball. <laughs> it wasn't a change yet. 79. Oh, well, how could you tell the difference? <laughs> By the release point. I'd like to see it throw a change up now. Here's Albert Bell. A sacrifice fly in the first and a two run single in the third. Three RBIs already. And the bases are loaded. Too low ball one. And now you see a little bit of the difference between Bell and Bayerga. Bell, we've already documented, he's more patient now than he has ever been. And he would have probably swung at that pitch low and away before. Now he's more patient, tries to get a good pitch to hit every time he goes to the plate. He is coiled and ready to the sprint. All right, was that a. Now that's only 78. That must have been a changeup. Well, that looked like a screwball or something, guys. You know, watch Bell if you can't. He has a great takeaway. You either step away from your hands or you push them back. You push away or you step away. He pushes away and he has a great way of doing it. Well, it is 3 and 0. He seems to be pitching around Bell even though the bases are loaded right now. And of course, on deck is one of the great bases loaded hitters in the last 18 years, Eddie Murray. Watch how he pushes his hands back. See, now he gets him in perfect position, has his hands above the strike zone when he starts forward. Into left center, Javier. Tagging at third is Alomar, and he will score to make it 6 nothing Cleveland. The fourth RBI of the game for Albert Bell. And he was allowed to swing 3-0. Well, I hope he was allowed to. <laughs> 
See how he gets in good hitting position, and then he really attacks the ball. He attacks the ball not only with his hands, but with his body. I mean, he really goes after the ball. I mean, if you're Mike Hargrove, why not let him swing away on 3 0? Well, maybe because the guy you mentioned was coming up next, Eddie Murray. But again, Bell led the league in runs batting in last year. That's what he does best, so he let him go. He's got four tonight, and we're only in the fourth inning. There's Mike Hargrove, the manager. He's been uh, part of this uh, building process. Here's Murray batting right handed now, which is also something to consider. The fact that Eddie is only hitting 161 as a right handed hitter this year. Maybe they should pinch it for him. <laughs> Eddie Murray, who uh, has had 17 grand slams in his career, only Lou Gehrig and Willie McCovey have ever had more than that. So and there is the all time list. So you know that Murray knows how to produce with the bases loaded, whether it be left handed or right handed. Bell getting that one run home. So only two men on here as Murray bats in the fourth inning with uh, Lofton at second base and Espinosa over at first base. But John, when Eddie Murray's at bat, you don't really look at the batting average because you know what he's done throughout his career and you know anytime he steps in the batter's box, he's capable of putting a charge into one, whether it's from the right side or the left side. Down the right field line, that's going to be a base hit and he will pick up yet another RBI. Lofton comes in to score, going to third base is Espinosa. And that makes it seven to nothing for Cleveland. And Murray has three RBIs. And is that some production? In the middle of the order, Bell with four RBIs and Murray with three. And look out, Reggie Jackson. Murray moving up on Reggie in the all-time RBI list. Well, this pitch is going to be away, and Eddie just goes the other way with it, lines it down the right field line. And that's good hitting. Eddie has never been a dead pull hitter from either side. Really most of his career, guy would always hit around 300. Here's Sorrento, and the fastball is swung on a miss, strike one. Sorrento has struck out and uh, bounced one in front of the plate. Eddie Murray now with three RBIs tonight has 1,699 RBIs in his career. Three behind Reggie Jackson who is 16th on the all-time list. Blooped into center field. That's going to be a base hit. Well, when you're the Oakland A's and things go bad, they really go bad. I mean, line drives fall in, and so do the bloops. Espinosa scores, and it is eight to nothing. And so Leeper has come in from the bullpen. But the base is loaded, and he has let all three of Ron Darling's runners score. So Darling has been charged with eight runs, seven of them earned in three plus innings. Now here is Manny Ramirez. Two on, two out. He takes a cold strike in his own one. One strike to Ramirez. And remember, Ramirez has 29 RBIs this year, hitting down in the order. He won a job in spring training. Get that fastball by him. Oh, and to the count. I said that fastball in our judge Hill was 88 miles an hour. Now, he's, Joe, he's like, maybe he's loose now. He's like firing now. Dave Leeper. They missed outside with that one. One ball and two strikes here. Eddie Murray, by the way, with two more hits in this game, is now just 131 hits away from 3,000 hits. And he's only four hits behind Babe Ruth. Babe. The Babe. It was 30th place. And of course, Babe Ruth, born in Baltimore, who uh, grew up in the area where the new Baltimore ballpark is located, Camden Yards, and Eddie Murray, who started his career in Baltimore. Yastrzemski in the all-time home run list in 20th place. Moving up on Reggie Jackson, as we mentioned in the RBI column. And that 
one is low. Three and two now to Ramirez. Remember, it had been 0-2. And, and uh, as we see so often, Joe, he goes from 0-2 to 3-2. and I mean, and now 3-2, you have to come in with one. I mean, why not come in with it when it's 0-2? Well, especially 2-2. Two two. Runners are going. The ball is driven deep to center field. Javier going way back. Still going. for Cleveland three of them score eight nothing Cleveland we go to the last of the fourth many years and they will move to within a game